What's happening, movie lovers all over the world? This is your boy, Testify to the Music, bringing you another movie review. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the 2016 film Zootopia. It is a 3D computer animated buddy cop comedy film. And it is directed by Byron Howard and Rich Moore and co-directed by Jared Bush and features the voice talents of Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman, Idris Elba, J.K. Simmons, Tommy Chong, Octavia Spencer, Jenny Slate, Shakira, and many others. And essentially the film, it is about an unlikely partnership between a rabid police officer and a red fox carn artist as they uncover a conspiracy that involves the disappearance of predator civilians within the larger Utopia City. So jumping straight into my initial thoughts and what I had thought about this film as a whole, I say the same thing I said in my God's Not Dead 2 review. I'll go ahead and give you my score right off the bat. Straight up 5 out of 5. This movie was phenomenal. The voice acting was on par. You could just tell this was perfect casting. Everybody who they had cast to play these different animal characters, I just completely bought into it. Especially Idris Elba as Chief Bogo. I definitely bought him as the chief of the Zootopia police. I definitely bought into that. Jennifer Goodwin, her as Judy Hobbs, like I said, you just she just fits so well to the point if you would have cast somebody else doing the voice acting, uh, maybe someone just a little bit bigger, it wouldn't have worked as well. But I could relate to Jennifer Goodwin. I could relate to Judy Hobbs and what she was going through. And Jason Bateman as Nick Wilde. My gosh, perfect casting, perfect, perfect casting. Again, again, this film, five, straight up five out of five, but just getting into it, what this film is about. Again, it's about this this bunny who wants to be a police officer, but of course there are no rabbit police officers, so she decides to be the first rabbit police officer. And as soon as she gets there, she is overlooked, you know, that nobody's paying her attention because she's real small and because of her size. And what she ends up doing is she ends up uh, coming across this case where they have about 14, I want to say 13 to 14 missing animal reports going on. And she stumbles right into the middle of it. And what her boss does, because her boss isn't too fond of her, says, I will give you 48 hours, which is two days. I will give you 48 hours to figure out this case and to find Mr. Oddington. And if you can't, you have to give me your badge and you have to resign and quit. So that pretty much sets it up right there. Um, and what she ends up doing, she ends up somehow coming in contact with Nick Wilde's character from a previous interaction that they had earlier in the film. And what happens is she ends up essentially blackmailing him and they team up together to solve this crime. Now, one of the things I want to note about the film is I know Walt Disney is known you know, for making fluffy movies, you know, if it's fluffy, it's going to be fluffy. And I will say this movie did have fluff in it, but it had darkness in it, too. Uh, and again, this is not spoilers because this is also in the trailer. What is simply happening is some of the predator animals are turning back into their feral selves. They're going back to, as they said in the movie, their DNA. And they're becoming rogue and just attacking people for no reason. And... What I like here is when a character turns feral and they turn back to their primal self, Disney did not hold back on the darkness. It got dark and it got gritty in there. There was at one point where I actually thought that the characters were finna die. That's how dark it got. But when it was dark, it was dark. When it was lighthearted, it was lighthearted. When it was funny, it was funny. All the jokes were good. Especially the sloth joke about the three-humped camel. Even though I had already seen that in the teaser trailer and in the regular trailer, I still laughed my butt off. It was myself and my buddy, along with a few others in there. We laughed the entire time of the movie. I haven't laughed that much at a film since I saw Deadpool. That's how on point these jokes were. Because the jokes were made for kids, but there were some jokes in there thrown in for adults as well. So this is a film that both kids and adults can enjoy. But getting into the heart of the story, I think ultimately there are some sub-themes in this story that are really focused on, which talks about discrimination, um, of how you stereotype certain people or certain groups of people as one thing. 
and how you can't just stereotype everybody that way. There's groups of there. There's traces of that going on, which I liked and they addressed um, and they didn't shy away from that subject. There's also sub things of being the underdog here, wanting to prove everyone wrong. Everybody is against you, but you're able to overcome it. And then there's also a mystery theme here going on because you're with these two characters. You're with Judy Hobbs. You're with Nick Wilde. And you're trying to figure out who is doing this, what is going on, what's happening. Again, this was a mystery. And I almost couldn't figure this out until I got close to the very end or to the climax of the film. Usually with mystery films, I can figure it out within at least the first 30 to 45 minutes of the film. And I can tell you exactly how it's going to end. I couldn't tell you how this was going to end. I did know, and again, this is not a spoiler. And Well, you know what? I'm not going to dwell into it. I was going to talk about something that happened with Nick Wilde's character, but I'm not going to go into it because, again, that could be kind of considered a spoiler a little bit. So I'm not going to get into it. But again, given my overall thoughts even more on this, again, perfect casting all around. Everybody did their part here. You could buy all the animals. Tommy Chong, my gosh. I, as soon as Tommy Chong came on, I recognized that voice right away. It's Leo. Leo from that 70s show. And I love the character he's playing. Perfect casting. Perfect casting here. He is perfect cast as that yak. The, the nudist yak. Again, I really like Disney. Disney, they rarely put out a bad film. Including Pixar. Pixar rarely ever puts out a flop of a film. This film, again, A++ all across the board. Walt Disney is back. They knew exactly what they were doing. And I like how they actually take the time to go find the right actors to play these characters. And how they make the actors just kind of come to life. And how they make the characters really come to life in this 3D animation movie. And how you can just tell... Oh, yep, that character, I can tell he's being played by Idris Elba. I recognize his voice, and it kind of looks like him in animal form. So here I have to recommend Walt Disney for their skills of being able to book and, and get this much talent on one film. Again, nobody outshined anybody. Everybody was here. Just like I said in God's Not Dead 2, you could go into this as a casual movie fan and just zone out and you could understand everything. They explain everything. There's lots of mystery, lots of elements. It was lighthearted all the time. And when it went dark, it definitely went dark and didn't shy away from it. Again, A plus across the board. Have to give this five stars. I definitely recommend you checking out Zootopia before it leaves. Again, I know I'm a little late on this review. The movie came out several weeks ago, but I am so glad that I'm finally able to review this movie and I finally got to see it last night. I definitely plan on going to seeing this again before it leaves theaters. Again, if you want to know a little bit more about the story, again, it's about this unlikely partnership between a rabbit and a police officer. And again, if you know anything about rabbits and foxes, they do not get along. They're like mortal enemies. So you have that going on through the constant film. You're kind of thinking in your head, okay, when is the fox going to turn on the rabbit? When is the fox going to turn on into the rabbit? You're thinking that the whole time. And that's why they say it's unlikely, pretty much an unlikely partnership. And so what they have to do is they have to uncom uncover a conspiracy and it involves the disappearance of predator-like animals from Zootopia. Uh, and another, I almost forgot, somebody else I want to mention in here, Shakira. Shakira, excuse me, Shakira did a phenomenal job in this movie. I loved her as the gazelle. She did a great job singing. I actually bought the gazelle as being like based on Shakira because I'm not going to lie, and again, this is going to sound weird, but look, that gazelle's hips weren't lying, and neither was that rear end. It was not lying. So I could definitely tell that they had based the gazelle off of <laughs> Shakira. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, again, this 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 film, it just plucked the heartstrings in the right way. I saw this right after God's Not Dead, and my heartstrings were already plucked from that movie. And then this came and just plucked the heartstrings even more. Again, five out of five stars. Recommend this movie. Go check it out before it leaves theaters. But with that being said, guys, I hope you like this non-spoilers review. If you want spoilers for this movie, 
then you can just kick me at I am testify. Again, that is I am testify at kick or kike, however you want to pronounce it. I'll make sure I have a link posted in the description as well. If you want to talk more about spoilers there. Also, if you like this review, make sure you smash that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Also, leave your thoughts about what you thought about Zootopia and what was your takeaway from the film and what was your theater experience like. Make sure you post that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys and hear what you think about the film. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss out on another music review or movie review. Thank you again so much for your continued support. This is your boy Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage, saying peace out. Mm -hmm.